saying I'm fight with another video. I say I'm fight with another video. Make sure you hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Yes, I said subscribe. Turn on your post notifications. It's free. Do it for me. What up, gang? I'm back with another video. Let's get into it. But before we get into it, make sure y'all hit that like button. When you hit that like button, it help my videos and channel grow. I'm going to give y'all time to hit that like button. All right, let's get into it. Now, y'all already know your boy Straight Drop, a.k.a. Justin Johnson, brother Jamarcus Johnson, was in the news last week saying he took a plea deal. And y'all know the judge said the information that they gonna receive gonna be enough to end this case. And we went live about it. I made a video about it. And the first thing I told y'all was what? If that judge say the information that Jamarcus Johnson is giving, Straight Drop Brother is giving, is gonna end the case. That mean he's finna give up the shooters. That mean he's gonna tell who did it. And today, that man walked in there in court with his lawyer and let his lawyer be his mouthpiece. And his lawyer said, straight drop brother, Jamarcus Johnson said, straight drop was one of the shooters. He said after the shooting, straight drop gave him his phone, gave him a car, and gave him some money. I think the money was to get to somebody else. The reason why Straight Drop gave his brother his phone because he know the probation officer gonna call because he was on probation. And he needed to answer that phone. But he didn't want to keep the phone on him. And the police go looking for him and they track him down by the towers and the signal of the phone. So he gave it to his brother. Every time a probation officer called, his brother would answer, but call Straight Drop on another phone and put both phones together and let Straight Drop talk to the probation officer. So the probation officer the whole time was thinking that Straight Drop still had his phone on him. So when the police decided to go get Straight Drop, his phone was bouncing off that tower. When the police arrived to where that phone was, it was his brother, Jamarcus Johnson. That's how they knew that he was helping Jamarcus get away. So they charged him with accessory after the fact because he knew his brother was on the run and he was helping his brother by keeping that phone and using another phone so his brother could communicate to his probation officer knowing the reason why he didn't need that phone or wanted that phone because he know he was on the run and he didn't want them to track him down by that phone. The most time bro would have got was 12 years. But he decided, hey, I can't even take this little time. I've been in here this long. So he decided to cooperate. And right now he's looking at from six to 12 years by him identifying his brother as the shooter. I will most likely say they will give him the less time as possible. So he probably going ahead and gonna get them six. He might just burn out and get like probation for them six. Also, we know as Hernandez Govan, the one that they saying orchestrated this hit, the one that they saying put it together, you know, he's out on bun and young dog family agreed to let him out on bun. And the judge said something similar to what he said about straight drop brother. He said the information that we getting from Mr. Hernandez will help in this case and help close this case. So if Govan was the one that orchestrated the hit, he was the one that put the hit on Dolph, right? And he's cooperating. That means he's giving up somebody higher than him. So nine times out of 10, he's gonna give up the person that put the money on Dolph's head. Mind you, he was just the face of the hit. I told y'all this last week. Maybe two. Whenever the information came out that Hernandez was getting bun, I told y'all he got to tell on somebody higher than him. That means 
he got to tell on somebody that put the hit out on Dolph. He was just the face. I told y'all that in my live. I said nine times out of ten, whoever really put the hit out on Dolph, they had go then, go to the streets and say, look, I got the money. Whoever killed Dolph could get the money. So if anything come back from the streets or the shooters get caught, they're going to say, oh, Govan, the one that gave me the money to put the hit out on Dolph because they're not going to know the person that's higher than him. You feel me? So for Govan to be telling, he got to tell on somebody that's higher than him. So nine times out of ten, he's going to tell who gave him the money to put the hit out on Dolph. Now, this well, it get juicy. A lot of people feel Black Youngster, Lil Migo, and Big Juke will be arrested. Why? Because Grove Hero, Grove Hero, which is Dolph Homie, came out in the interview and said it was Black Youngster, Big Juke, and Lil Migo who put their money together to put a hit out on Dolph. Now, some people believed it, some people didn't. Do I think Black Youngster, Lil Migo, and Big Juke gonna go down for Dolph murder? I don't know about Black Youngster and Lil Migo, but I think it's a good chance that Big Juke will go down. Why? It's because when they picked up Hernandez Govan, they also picked up Big Juke because they heard he was somebody that had something to do with it. They heard that he was the one that provided the funds but they didn't have enough evidence to prove this so they had to let him go after questioning but if govan is telling and he was the one that orchestrated the hit that means he have to tell on the person who gave him the money to put the hit out on the streets so if big Juk was the one that gave him the money then they coming to get him. I know all three people, Black Youngster, Lil Migo, and Big Juke didn't walk up to go van and say, look, we all put money. No, I'm pretty sure it was one person. And Big Juke and Go Van is best friends. So nine times out of ten, Big Juke was the one that got in contact with him. Even if Black Youngster and Lil Migo allegedly went in and went half on the bounty so Hernandez if he got the money from Big Juk 9 times out of 10 or 10 out of 10 gonna give up Big Juk because he gotta give up somebody higher than him we going live on this situation tonight make sure you hit that like button comment subscribe turn on all post notifications it's free do it for me okay those acts uh, those are three acts of an accessory after the fact that did aid in the cover-up and the, uh, this conspiracy. For those reasons, now that we understand those to be the facts of uh, his involvement, uh, now that he's given a truthful statement uh, with regard to these things, he has also identified a picture of his brother Justin Johnson wearing uh, the outfit of one of the shooters of Dolph just directly before the homicide. Uh, now that he's been 100% cooperative and truthful, we're asking your honor to accept the guilty plea and recommendation of the case. See you. Mr. Justin, we had done a talk before, is that correct? Yes, sir. And when we talked, you told me about meeting with your half-brother, Justin. I did your half-brother, is that right? Yes, sir. Uh, you told me about meeting with your half-brother, Justin, about a week or so after the murder of Adolph Thornton Jr., is that right? Yes, sir. Uh, you told me at that time that he gave you a car, is that right? Yes, sir. Uh, you told me at that time he also gave you his cellular telephone, is that correct? Uh, you told me that, or did you, did you tell me uh, that afterwards uh, you used that cellular test, uh, telephone at his request? Yes, sir. Uh, did you describe to me a scenario in which you would place one phone up to another uh, while Justin was on another phone for the benefit of his parole or probation officer? Uh, he would come to get somebody longer and I would 
put his mouth on it, down on the bed, and I put some of my hips on it. And you talked, you told me about the times that you did that, is that correct? Yes. Uh, and you also described times not just with the probation and parole officer, but also with an individual named you, C. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Yes, sir. You now know that individual would be Cornelius Smith, is that right? Yes, uh, and you described to me, and you, you would turn this phone over, and in it were text me messages mm -hmm. uh, with this individual, C. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Uh, and some of these text messages some of what you witnessed uh, was conversation with regard to money uh, that Justin would be getting to see. Is that correct? Uh, he asked for money, yes, sir. Asked for money, yes, sir. Is that correct? Yeah. He asked for money from somebody else. From somebody else. Okay. And that somebody else was referred to as Unc, is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay, so this would be money that C asked for from Justin that Justin was going to get from Unc. Drive to my second channel. Music 101 Podcast, man. Hey, do me a favor. Look down right there to the bottom left and hit that like button for me. Hit that like button right there. I appreciate it. I continue watching. Promo alert. Promo alert. If you need promo, DM me on Instagram at Music 101 CEO. Music 101 CEO. $30 for one promo video on YouTube. $50 for three promo videos on YouTube, $70 for six promo videos on YouTube, and $130 for 12 promo videos on YouTube. You trying to get your numbers up? You trying to get your business up? Hit me up at Music 101. See, the results is great.